hi guys welcome to Demi's corner again today i'm going to be showing you how i make my plantain and egg frittata this is going to be a one pot um recipe i'm sure you've seen various recipes on plantain frittata that's been made with either the baked plantain or already pre-grilled or pre-fried plantain um, my recipe is kind of different in the sense that i'm going to be making everything in one pan um, before i go ahead kindly click on the subscribe button and also please click on the notification button so you get notified when I have new videos um, so let's start so the first thing you're gonna be doing will be to cut your plantains into tiny slices very thin slices I'm using four plantains for this recipe so I'm gonna be cutting all my plantain into tiny bits once you finish cutting you can put your plantain in a bowl and then you're gonna be setting this aside and then um, you get your cast iron frying pan or any frying pan um, of your choice that is non-stick. You're going to coat the inner parts of the frying pan with oil. You can also use um, an oil spray for this. And then you're going to pour your plantain into the grilled pan and just evenly spread it um, so i'll be baking my plantain for 20 minutes at 400 degrees while my plantain is baking i'll be cutting in my sausage and bacon into tiny bits and um, you can also use any protein of your choice you can use chicken or beef and um, this is going to be added into on top of the plantain once the plantain finishes baking at 20 minutes so at the end of the 20 minutes i'm going to be adding my my bacon and my sausage and i'm going to be spreading this evenly on top of my plantain and the reason why i'm adding at this stage is because i want the um sausage and the bacon to cook thoroughly before i add in my eggs um you don't want to undercook your protein it's not healthy so just make sure that you add this way before you add in your eggs and just spread it on top of the plantain in a separate bowl, I'm going to be cracking my eggs. I'm using six eggs for this recipe and I'm just going to crack the eggs. So I'm going to be adding in my salt. I'm just going to use a pinch of salt just to taste. And thereafter, I'll be adding in my pepper. I'm using Cameroon pepper for this recipe. Um, you can decide to use any pepper of your choice, um, like cayenne pepper or paprika. Um, just go for any pepper you like. Um, once I finish adding in my pepper, I'm just going to ensure that the egg is um, thoroughly mixed together. You don't want the yolk to be separate from the white. So just ensure you mix it properly. And then once you mix it properly, I'm going to be adding in my mixed veg um, into this recipe. This is an optional um, stage, but if you want to have um, um, a colorful um, frittata, I would advise that you add um, the mixed vegetable into the recipe so i'm going to add in my mixed veg into my um eggs and then of course i'm going to mix this together also and then i'm going to be pouring this mixture on top of the um plantain the big plantain in the pan and i'm just going to evenly spread this on on top of the plantain and then i'm going to allow this to bake for an additional um 15 to 20 minutes so you need to continue to check this intermittently because you don't want your eggs to burn and just make sure you check it and once once the egg is properly thoroughly done based on your preference um, you can put off the gas um, stove and take out your pan and your frittata is ready to be served so that's it you've made your plantain frittata i hope you've learned one or two things from this recipe kindly give me a thumbs up and um, share this video as much as you can also please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button so you get notified thank you and have a great day